terms of the size of the power caps. It is depends on the numbers of piles, the arrangements of the piles, as well as the shapes of the power caps. The numbers of piles is governed by the vertical load generated by the columns acting on the power caps with respect to the capacity of the piles. It is determined by dividing the vertical loads with the numbers of piles. Therefore, the power foundations can appear in various numbers of piles from 2 units of piles, 3 units of piles, to 9 units of piles. This diagram shows the typical arrangements of the piles. The piles need to arrange in a symmetrical manner, and the center of gravity of the piles here needs to be in line with the centroid of the columns. The shapes of the piles will be governed by the numbers of piles and their arrangement. Rectangular power shapes is applicable for the piles of 2 units and 6 units. A triangle shape of power caps is meant for 3 units power. Square piles is for 4 units and 9 units or 5 units. And hexagonal shapes is for 7 units of piles. The dimensions of different types of the base are given here. What you see from the dimensions given here, there are some common characteristics. 5 power here refers to the diameter of the piles, and the value k here represents the constant numbers of 3. What you see here, the spacing between the piles are normally set as k times 5 piles. This is applicable for any numbers of piles, and it is measuring from the centroid of the pile to another pile. When you see there are two piles along the line, as indicated here, here, and also here, the width of the power caps will be equal to k plus 1 times the power size plus 300 mm. k plus 1 times the power size is actually referring to the distance from the edge of the power to another edge. This is k times the power size plus half of the power and plus another half of the piles. That gives you k plus 1 times power size. And this 300 is referring to 150 from one side and another 150 from another side. This gives you the edge of the piles to the edge of the power caps equals to 150 representing the minimum required distance from the edge of the piles to the power cap side. On that basis of 150 mm on each side, you will be able to determine the height of the power caps here, which will be equals to the size of the power cap plus 150 and another 150. That gives you the power size plus 300 mm. The same principles go for the three piles in line, which the equations are given here, here, and here. That is equals to 2 times of the k times power size plus half of the piles here and another half of the piles here plus 150 of the edge and another 150 for the edge. That gives you this formula of 2k plus 1 times the power size plus 300. In the case that there is an odd number of piles here, while maintaining the 
constant distance of k times power size through trigonometry you are able to determine this width that will be 2 times of this as computed from a degree of 45 degree plus half of the power size one side plus another half of the power size on another side plus 150 of the edge and plus another 150 at the edge that gives you this formula the spacing between this pulse and this pulse is determined by square root of 2k times the power size. Based on this principle, you are actually able to determine the spacing of the pulse here for you to acquire this. Same goes to here. To ensure a constant distance between the pulse you are talking about 60 degree angle instead of 45 degree here. Same go to this. From here, these equations and these equations can be derived. This width is determined by the power size plus 150 from one side and another 150 from another side. And this width is given by power size plus 250. That means 150 on this side and another 100 on this side. On basis of these understandings, actually you do not need to memorize the formula. You can just simply sketch the arrangement of the piles, regardless how many of them, and you are able to figure out the dimensions.